In this video, we'll be talking about how to set up lighting for dark environments in Godot. And the obvious first step is to get rid of the default skybox. We can do this by simply placing a new world environment node inside of our base node and adding a new environment resource to it. For the background mode, we will choose custom color and keep the background color as black. To make object outlines slightly visible in dark, we can add a very subtle ambient light. For actually lighting the scene, we have a choice of two nodes, Spotlight and Omnilight. Omnilight shines in all directions and Spotlight shines in one direction at a set angle. So let's take a look at how we can modify these lights. In Omnilight, note the range, attenuation and energy variables and in Spotlight, note all of the above plus angle and angle attenuation. Shadows are turned off by default, but we can turn them on by taking Enable here. One problem I've noticed when spotlights hit the ground at a large angle like this is they create these weird wavy shadows, but we can fix that by also taking Reverse Cool Face. Let's take a look at how we can modify Omnilights with variables. Range increases how far the light reaches, Energy controls how bright the light is, and Attenuation determines how fast the light dissipates. With a higher light attenuation value, the objects that are far from the light source will be less lit up. We can kind of showcase this here. When we set attenuation super low and change the range, we can see objects coming into view very sharply, as opposed to a more gradual lighting with a higher attenuation value. That's Omnilights. Now let's discuss Spotlights. All of the above applies in the same way, but we have two additional variables angle and angle attenuation. Angle affects how wide our light cone is and angle attenuation works similar to attenuation, but instead of making far objects more dim, it makes objects that are farther from the center of the cone more dim. Also works in the opposite way from attenuation and higher values here equals less dim. So it's just something to keep in mind. That's it for today. Hope you make some nice horror games. Yeet.